Bill, I hope your meeting went well. How are you? I miss you already. I can't wait to see you tonight. Are you okay? I haven't heard from you all day. I want to make sure we're okay. Please, I need to see you tonight. Lisa's really into me. Hey Lisa, I'm sorry I couldn't text you earlier. I'm very busy at work. I'm on my way to meet you at your apartment. Wait for me there. May I come in? What is this about? I'm not going to talk outside. Let me in. It's business. Come on in. I'm Lily DeAngelis. I am here on behalf of Eddie Wu of the Capone Gang. A new strain of meth called Pink Romance hit the streets in Fresno and Silicon Valley, California. We traced its origin to Mountain View and a Talboy of the Irish mob, which led us here to you. Your product is superior, and we cannot allow you to set up shop in Chicago. So you will need to work for us. Here's my contact info. Well, thank you. That's the kind of connection I was looking for, and I sure didn't expect it to come knocking at my door. To be clear, you are suggesting we work together to put pink romance on the streets of Chicago. That's the plan. Don't advertise it. Leave a message on my encrypted voicemail, and we'll get back to you about setting up a lab. I'm delighted. I'm sorry I was a little hesitant to let you in. Have a good night. I certainly will. You made my night. Hey everyone, let's meet at Susie's place. I've got something interesting to share. Am I too early? No, you're fine. I'm just finishing up here. I work on my art whenever I have a free moment. How are you? I'm starving. But I'll take care of it at the club. Me too. I wonder what Evie wants to tell us. Knowing her, it could be anything. Hey, Darth. Looks like you scored. I fed, but I didn't take any money. There's already too much crime around here. I don't want to give the impression I was looking for a handout. I like fast food. Eat and run. Mugging isn't much of a challenge. I prefer breaking and entering. Where's Avogadro? He got up, got dressed, and bolted without saying anything. I just texted him. We'll see. He's sensitive and moody sometimes, especially after seeing May. So he's bumming. Anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know I spotted Sapphire a couple nights ago at the Blue Velvet. I lost sight of her and didn't see where she went. I went looking for her last night and saw Arcane. I followed him to an apartment. Ah, interesting. You think the Blue Velvet is one of their clubs? Maybe. Or they like a good party. They bragged about having clubs in major cities throughout the U.S. I remember they were in San Francisco scouting a new one. They're not good people. They toyed with Dormouse her whole life. It could be kind of fun to toy with them. They're like the Blount sisters. They are not like the Blount sisters. Sapphire and Arcane had a purpose. The Blount sisters were uncontrolled. Um, I have very personal experience with the Blount sisters. The best I can say about them is they're dead. Um, well, if I see Arcane or Sapphire, I'm going to try and have a chat with them. Well, I guess tonight is a night for Bruja Broadcasting. I got an interesting visit this evening from an emissary of Al Capone's gang. They know about Pink Romance and want to partner with me. Oh my god, Darth. I didn't know I had reach. Or maybe we just have more of an audience than we realize. So what's the issue? Are they going to demand more than you can deliver? I think it's an issue that they think they can tell you what to do. Trina and I can both cook. We're like Colonel Sanders and they're providing the oven. 
They won't know how to make it without you, right? Trina and I will keep the process to ourselves. She wasn't happy with Talboy. After getting her blood, she stayed hoping to start something here. Well, it looks like a good opportunity for steady income. Be cautious in your dealings with them. I'd rather deal with a mob or any gang than a bunch of Scientologists. It's just a matter of taste. I heard a rumor from Henri that the Quajin are packing up and leaving San Francisco. Can you believe that? There's also a rumor that the Camarilla is trying to re-establish itself in the Bay Area. It would be nice to go back. I miss the Morage. I wish we had a way to contact Prince Sarah. I don't want to ask President Jackson about that. Considering the Camarilla set her up to fail in San Francisco, you might be right. Perhaps we could ask Modius, or Juggler, or that Professor Critias. I'd love to tell the President that while looking for Thin Bloods, we heard a rumor that Critias is putting them on the menu in the circulatory system. Juggler said Critias is bosom buddies with the President. I need to feed. Me too. Let's head to the club. Then if y'all want, we can go to the university to look for Krusty Kretas. Hey, May. Have you seen Avogadro? Oh, hello, Evie. Hi, Gift. Gift, you seem bothered by me. I don't know you. How can I be bothered by you? You seemed bothered last night at my condo. I wasn't bothered by you. I was concerned about Avogadro. He seemed very unhappy. Maybe that's what you saw. Please, come with me to my place and let's have a talk away from the street noise. Sure, I'm happy to come along. I was born in San Francisco's Chinatown. My mother was a pregnant sex slave who was rescued by Donald Dina Cameron in 1923. I met Avogadro in an opium den in the 1940s. We had an intense mutual attraction. I remember we went into a private room together. I thought it strange that he gave me opium, but didn't smoke at all. Instead, I smoked and he nibbled my neck. I now know that when he nibbled my neck, he drank my blood and got high from the opium I had smoked. He confessed that he wanted to marry me. I was very attracted to him. We would meet clandestinely at the opium den every night over the next two weeks. He didn't try to have sex with me, Yet, there was this intense sensual attraction and arousal. He told me he had a way we could be together forever. He claimed he was immortal and could extend my life indefinitely. I laughed. He took a knife and cut his wrist. An artery spurted blood. He licked his wrist and the wound instantly healed. I thought it was some kind of trick. He asked me if I love him, like he loved me and I was surprised at how quickly I answered that I did. He said he was a vampire and showed me his fangs. He said if I drank his blood three times and then once a month after that, I would never age or be sick and then we could be together forever. He warned me that my feelings for him would become more intense and I would want to please him in every way. In that moment, being with him forever and making him happy was truly my heart's desire. I agreed to drink his blood and become his wife. Only things didn't go the way he said they would. Oh, I haven't aged nor have I been sick since I drank his blood. However, as soon as I was transformed, my passion for him died. Conversely, his passion for me increased. He gave me most of his money, which I invested wisely and I tried my best to be gracious, kind, and grateful to him. But the more he groveled before me, the more I despised him for being so weak. Somehow, I hated him for loving me. The more he tried to please me, the more mean and resentful I became. I hated the way I felt towards him, and I hated the way I treated him. And yet, there was still this great love for him. I know it doesn't make sense that I love him yet despise him. He doesn't deserve to be treated so poorly, and I can't help being cruel to him. So I sent him away, only to return once a month so I can drink his blood and continue my life. 
it's an unfortunate situation. We're doing our best, and you seem to like staying in my condo. So I hope that makes you feel better about it. Well, thank you for opening up to me and telling me the history. It is really unfortunate that it has worked out the way it has. It doesn't have to stay that way. Well, it is as it is, and it's been this way a long time. It seems we were both surprised to see each other in Avogadro's bedroom, and I want you to understand why it's best for me to stay away as much as possible. I feel loyal to Avogadro as I was turned in a very unfortunate way, and I'm still trying to figure out this whole life. He seemed very unhappy, and that is what I was responding to. Well, please don't tell him anything about what I have shared with you. Why not? While I shared my story, it's up to him to share his with you. To disclose what you know would injure your relationship with him. What happened between us is a very sensitive topic for him. That was a nice story, but I really wanted to know if you had seen Avogadro. I have not seen him since last night. You want to join us at the Blue Velvet? I respectfully decline. I leave Chicago tomorrow. Thank you, May, for allowing me to stay at your condo. You're welcome. Have a good evening. What's your name? I'm Jordan Casada. Thanks for letting me backstage. I'm really a big fan. You're welcome. I feel invigorated. Would you like to dance? Sure. You seem to know your way around the dance floor. Do you know where I can find a tango bar? I'm not sure. Let me get back to you on that. Of course. Here's my card. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I have a passion for tango and would appreciate the referral. Okay, if y'all want to pile into my car, we can go check out this old crusty ass guy. The mysterious Critias. You say Critias, I say Critias. Well, that guy said his office is in here. Gentlemen, please step forward. Females, mind your place behind the men. Asshole. We've heard some nasty rumors about you in the circulatory system. What were you saying? Um, I don't remember. I thought so. From now on, call me professor. I see you are not thin bloods. Still, you would benefit by enrolling in the Camarilla Ethics and Traditions University. Graduation will guarantee an introduction to the kindred elite of Chicago. You will be admitted to Elysium and kindred events and meet highly esteemed kindred in your clan who can instruct you in your disciplines. If you are looking to make some money, upon graduating you may seek employment in the circulatory system working in procurement or transportation. You certainly don't want to remain an outcast like Genghis. She thinks she is Baron of the Chicago Anarchs, which total maybe three. She hangs around humans to lead them in their struggles to feel important, but secretly has a fancy apartment. Consider well whether you would rather run errands for the president or climb to the top yourself. I'd rather climb than grovel. Is there a criminal elite? The president does not look kindly upon criminal elements not directly under his jurisdiction. What's a bruja doing teaching etiquette? I am an original philosopher and scholar from ancient Greece first and Bruja second. Since most thin bloods are unteachable, it will be a delight to teach you, even the females. My female brain can barely comprehend. I'm in. The tuition for the university is $1,000. Who would like to enroll? Mahavir, please collect their enrollment fees. You will be in good company. President Jackson consults with me on a nightly basis. I'll see you all tomorrow evening, just after sundown. Well, that was kind of kinky. I could be into this. I thought you didn't like being told what to do. I don't. And I still felt good about it. I was busy staring at the art. I thought we were already admitted to Elysium. Well, there's Elysium and there's Elysium events. It's just a way to have vampires together without destroying each other with weapons or disciplines. It's an attempt to maintain civility and sophistication among violent predators. 
I'm really looking forward to having a mentor who can help me with my disciplines. I was abandoned by my sire, then I was abandoned by my foster sire. I'm ready to meet someone who can understand and help me. I need to understand the underworld of the underworld. I'm glad there's a place for that. Susie, we have a little time before sunrise. You want to look for some thin bloods? I don't want to hunt thin bloods anymore. I'm just going home to work on some projects. Trina, it looks like we'll be getting a new lab here. We got an offer to work with the Al Capone gang. Really? Better Al Capone than Al Talboy. That sounds interesting. That it is. I still haven't heard anything from Avogadro. I hope he's alright. Oh god, Avi. Why are you so dramatic? Fucking Toreador. Are you sure you don't mind if I sleep here for the day? Bill, I want you to stay with me. I'm not used to being up all night. Lisa, I must warn you that I sleep like the dead, so don't bother me. I literally need to sleep all day. When I wake up, make sure you have a friend here to introduce me to, okay? Yes, I will. I promise. I will do anything for you.